Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. There's an email I get far too often. Many times, photographers accidentally delete images that are in Lightroom. Now, I'm not talking about they actually just moved the images to a different location on their system and Lightroom can't find them. I mean, they actually took the images and put them in the trash and purged the trash and they're gone forever and they don't have a backup of the images. The images are just gone. Now, many times these images are irreplaceable. They're photos of someone that passed away or baby's first tooth or something like that. And the photographers are just devastated because they lost these images. Well, if you are using Lightroom and you did this, there is something you could do to salvage something. Now, of course, these aren't going to be the raw files, the original raw files, but at least there's something. Because as you know, when images are in Lightroom, Lightroom creates previews of the images. For example, if you look at these uh, five images I have in the film strip, you can see at the top, the file cannot be found. I set up a scenario where I created a folder. I put five images in it. I had those images imported into Lightroom. Lightroom created these previews, but then I deleted the folder. The entire folder is gone and you can see every single image says the file cannot be found. Now the actual raw files are gone forever, but if these were really precious images, and I need something just to have. I could use um, a tool that Adobe makes available to extract these previews out of Lightroom. Now, to get this tool, you go over to Adobe's website, and I'll have a link to this web page in the description below this video, and you need to download a script file. And once you download that script file, put it on your system where you could find it. I have it on my desktop right here. Then what you need to do is you need to go into Lightroom Preferences. On a Mac, Preferences is under, the, is under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Once you open Preferences, go to the Presets tab. And then over here, it says Show All Other Lightroom Presets. Click on that. If you have a Mac, a Finder window will open up. If you have a PC, a Windows File Explorer will open up and it will be open to the folder Lightroom. That's what you want. Now, what I suggest you do at this point is close Lightroom down. For this to work and to load properly, you do have to close and reopen Lightroom. So you might as well close it now. Now we'll close Lightroom down. Now that folder is still showing here. What we need to do is inside of that Lightroom folder, we need to create a new folder called scripts. So create a new folder and we're gonna call it scripts capital s c r i p t s all right then we're going to take this file that we downloaded from adobe and we're going to put it inside of the scripts folder just like that so it's inside of that folder now close down your finder window or windows file explorer and now reopen lightroom and again you have to have lightroom closed then reopen for this to work now, once you reopen Lightroom, you'll notice at the top menu area, you now have a little scroll there. Now, what you need to do is just select all the images that you want to have previews extracted of. So, oh, it's all these missing images. So, I'm just going to select them all. So, they're all selected down here. Then, I'm going to go up to the little scroll, click on it, and go down to Extract Previews. And then it's going to ask you, where do you want these previews extracted to? I'm going to put them to my desktop and I'm going to call them previews in a folder called previews. All right. So it's going in that folder right there. We're going to click choose. As soon as I click choose, Lightroom is going to extract the best possible preview because many times Lightroom creates different size previews. And actually you have the option of creating different size previews. If you create a one-to-one -one preview, and that one-to-one -one preview is available, a Lightroom will extract that one-to-one -one preview for you. So actually, if you do use one-to-one -one previews, uh, you'll get a better JPEG uh, extracted, a larger JPEG. So it's extracting, you can see, writing best possible previews. It did it already. I'll just minimize Lightroom. All right, here's that previews folder, and we'll open it up. 
and you can see there are the five images. And you can see it has the size, uh, 2560 by 1707 for two of them. This one was 3612 by 3612. And this one was 2560 by 1707. And here's one that I created a one-to-one -one preview. That's 6240 by 4160. You can see how it's larger. Now, unfortunately, when you do this, any edits you already did get baked in. So they're already there. You're, you, you're extracting edited previews. Any cropping you did is done. So if you did crop the image, anything that was cropped away is gone forever. And a lot of the metadata is stripped out too. So let's just take a look. I'll select them all and we'll take a look at these. And these are the previews that were in Lightroom. There's uh, one there, one there, one there. Now I mentioned the metadata stripped away. So this vertical image is shown horizontal. And there is that one that was a one-to-one -one preview. So that is a more resolute image compared to the other ones. But I can't tell on my monitor, but you get the idea. So at least you have something. Again, I don't claim these are as good as the raw file or anything like that. And as far as Lightroom is concerned, Lightroom still thinks the file is missing. So if you want to get these images back into Lightroom, what you need to do is go into the library module. Since the raw files are gone forever, you might as well just delete the missing folder and missing images from Lightroom and then re-import the ones you just extracted into Lightroom if you want them into Lightroom. So I hope that made sense. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to Adobe's website so you could download that script file. Now, one note, as, as long as you have that, that script folder in that Lightroom folder with that script file in it, you're always gonna have this little scroll show up in Lightroom, so it's always gonna be there. If you don't like it there, then you're going to have to get rid of that folder that's called scripts, and then it will go away. Uh, but maybe it's handy to have, just in case you ever uh, accidentally delete a file and it's gone forever, you didn't back it up, then you have that. Now, of course, the moral of the story is back up your images. It's really the easiest thing you could do to make sure that you don't um, face catastrophe. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.